This past Sunday, the Hopkinton Fire Department hosted their annual open house. The event is hosted as part of National Fire Prevention Month and helps teach about the everyday duties of the fire department. So we're just trying to teach children if a fire alarm goes off in their house, what they want to do is stay nice and low, crawl low under the smoke, and also what to do if they get fire on them. So stop, drop, cover, and roll. Just trying to teach the basics. The afternoon featured plenty of lesson learning activities for the kids, including rides in the fire truck. Here we go, guys. How are we doing today? Everybody doing good? Yeah? What's your name, pal? You don't know. <laughs> Today's our uh, annual open house, Mike. It's a great day. We got a great crowd. Everything's looking good. And what are you doing? What are you doing today? I am going to be assigned to giving rise in a new rescue. So when people are hurt, we put them on the cot, we take them to the hospital. On the way to the hospital, we, we help them and uh, we get better. Today we're talking about stuff in the back of the ambulance, uh, just to introduce the kids to see what an ambulance is like and that it's uh, not as scary as you might think. And we take it to the hospital and uh, part of what we do here in Hopkinton is the ambulance doesn't only bring it to the hospital, we're bringing the hospital to you. This is a demonstration of rural water supply. What we would do, we would have to do if you did not have a fire hydrant in your neighborhood, where the tanker would show up, put down the portable tank, empty the water into the tank, and then another truck would draft the water out of it. This will be the heaviest of the three. You ever see those climb for life stair yeah. races? Yeah. You ever do one? Oh yeah, pretty good. <laughs> Not too bad. No, it's fully strapped. Are you holding it for me? Yeah, fully strapped on and tighten right up. Look at all the stuff in here. Oh my God. This is John D's mother. Wow, that's crazy. When you do the waist belt, it puts most of the weight on your waist instead of your shoulders. That's what makes a huge difference. Sparky the fire dog was on the scene. Without Scotty, Scotty, how you doing today? Very great. You doing a fire? Yeah. You a fire truck ride? Not yet. Not yet. So, how about did you get a slice of pizza? Yeah. Uh, maybe two slices. Maybe. <laughs> and of course, there was plenty of pizza to go around. <laughs> Come on, boys. See what We've got some nice appreciation. Thank awesome. you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate you thinking of us. We'll find a good spot for this in the station, all right? Thank you. All right. Today is talking about fire safety, fire prevention. It's not all about responding to emergencies. So we're trying to educate the uh, families and kids about the equipment we have, um, some of the safety precautions they can do, and uh, we have an outstanding show today. I bet you we have 400 people through already. Sure. What kind of things could uh, people expect to see here? Well, we're demonstrating equipment. We have a lot of medical equipment that's out there. 
the showing our uh, fire equipment, extrication, technical rescue, all that. We're doing a stop, drop, and roll for the kids so they recognize how to uh, react to a smoke alarm, how to get out of a bedroom, stay low. If they have a problem, they stop, drop, and roll, and uh, how to get out of the house safely to a meeting area. Excellent. Have a plan. That's what we uh, try to get everybody to say, have a plan. And, uh, uh, and what, what's with the big line? We have a lot of people here today. There's no Patriots game and no Red Sox game during open house. That That's a key. <laughs> and, and what's the other uh, fun stuff that is going on over here? Right now, we just do fire truck rides for the kids. We're just trying to show them some of the equipment we have. And uh, for the real youngsters that aren't quite at that learning age yet, they really appreciate a ride in the fire truck. Okay.